Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Monday morning, May 20th. Looking at Wendell Trader's market profile of the ES and NQ. Hope everybody had a really nice weekend. Um, I did leave early, obviously, on Friday. There was no recap. Um, I see late in the day Friday. Uh, ES did probe a bit. Not using L's high, not much of a probe, but so far this morning, possibly looking to gap higher. We've had 26 upside gaps in ES this year. Um, eight of the previous 26 have held. We had wide point of controls on Friday, 11 wide in ES, 9 in NQ. Righty had 12. Um, we're in balance on the daily. Okay, for Righty, I'd call it a three-day balance. We have wide overnight point of control so far this morning. Not a lot out. Thank goodness today and tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday at 2, you have Fed Minutes, and then you have NVIDIA after the bell on Wednesday. I think you have about 4,000 Fed speakers this week, but again, unless it's Powell, I don't pay too much mind as they just continue with their verbal um, diarrhea. Uh, Friday's range ended up being in SPY, $2.20. It's the fourth time this year we've had exactly that range. Very interesting, which puts it in the top 10 uh, smallest ranges, by the way. Um, as far as what's going on today, again, we're in a three-day balance, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as is NQ, okay? We took back a lot of Wednesday, but not all of it. So we'll see if that's all the sellers wanted to do. But balance rules will certainly be in effect today. Thursday's high is the top of the balance. Wednesday's low is the bottom of it, okay? Um, the volume was horrendous for the most part last week. <laughs> well, oh my goodness. We have 163,000 on the tape so far this morning. So that's not a great sign. So um, as far as the game plan, again, if it gaps high, depending on the size of the gap, uh, you can see if you want to long the gap or long the gap fill, you'd still have higher value. So that would be an edge for the bulls. Plus, if you get the overnight high right away, the overnight low is right above the gap fill. Now, we have taken out both overnights the last two days. Okay, we've taken out both IBs the last two days. And that's a function of just small ranges, which makes that much, much easier to do, okay? Um, but again, front running an overnight high and or front running an overnight low are your pre-market trades, which are pretty much on the table every day in ES and in Q, not in Righty. Righty doesn't front run overnights for the most part. Uh, um, and then after that, again, the gap and go crowd, they, they can have it, I don't want it, but balance rules will be a lot more important to me. Um, and then let's just look at the charts real quickly uh, since we didn't look at them. So I'll uh, go over them real quick right now. Okay. So the monthly is uh, is up now in the S&P. The weekly certainly up. One time frame up three weeks out of an inside week. And the daily is a three-day balance. Okay. Triple Qs and NQ. Monthly calling it up now. Okay. Weekly, same thing, up three weeks out of an inside week, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And in the daily, again, a three-day balance. So all on the same page here for the most part. Now, IWM is a little different because their monthly is still balanced. I'm going to call this a five-month balance for them. So they're in a five-month balance on the monthly. The weekly is up. This is the big level they want to get above to get going again around that 212 level. And the daily is a three-day balance. So if they take out today's low, I would call them down. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.